All right, we got a problem here where we want to find out the exact area that a cow can graze around a barn. So first off, what I did for this problem is I solved for this sector here. It's pretty straightforward. The area for that is simply um, one half r squared theta, and theta is in radians, so it's going to be one half times 100, the 100 foot rope times uh, 3 pi over 2, because that's 3 fourths of a circle. And when you do that, you end up with um, 23,561.9449 feet. All right, and now to solve this uh, next portion, what I went ahead and did is I divided it up where I solved for these sectors here, and I divide, well, I divided it up like this. So I had these two sectors here with a 90 foot radius, and then I solved for these two triangles, and I'll show you how I did that. So starting off, what I did is I went ahead, and I know uh, I'll draw this triangle here. So this triangle, I got my 10 foot barn here, and then I have my, where it meets that pi over two, um, this is 90 feet. And because the barn cuts it off at this 10 foot mark, because it's, it's, it's anchored at the bottom left of the barn, and then I have this, and, well, it's not drawn exactly, but uh, I know this is 9 degrees for the barn here, and then I go up here, and this is split, so that's 45, so uh, 45 plus 90 is 135 degrees. And then I know, um, so based off of this, I can use the law of sine, so I can use, uh, let's see here, so I get sine of 135 degrees over my side, 90 feet, is equal to um, sine of theta, which we don't know yet, over 10 feet. So cross multiply uh, 90 times sine theta is equal to uh, 10 times sine 135. Um, you end up with sine, actually I'll just do this, theta is equal to arc sine of um, 10 sine of 135 over 90, which ends up giving me um, 4.506 yeah, degrees, roughly 4.5 degrees. So I, I do, uh, to find uh, the angle inside here, I do 180 minus 135 minus 4.5, which gives me... Um, 40, 40 point uh, of 40 point uh, four nine degrees I'll just leave it at that so now that I have that I can subtract uh, that from 90 and I get my angle in here so that's going to be um, all right 90 minus 40.49 which gives me 49 point Come on, Andrew. 49 point, you know, pause it. All right, uh, 40.5, six degrees. And what I do is I, man, I'm gonna, now, now that I have this angle here, I know I can find the area, so it's gonna be one half of 90 squared times, um, uh, 49.06, careful here, you got to convert to radians, times pi divided by 180, and I end up with um, uh, 3,000, so I end up with 3,499.389. Now, uh, both these angles, so they meet at pi, excuse me, pi divided by four, so they're the exact same. So you can just multiply this by two, and that'll give you the area of your two sectors, which will be 6,998.778, roughly. If you want to check to make sure uh, these angles meet up, what you can do is uh, you can do... Um, You'll have to do 9, 90 minus 49, so it'll be like the sine of 40.5 uh, 
uh, and then you find that and then you add 10 to it because this is up 10 because these both have the same length and uh, they'll go over there it's a little bit tricky that's what makes this problem so tricky is this even though this is 90 it's technically starting at uh, 10 on the x-axis and this is starting up at 10 on the y-axis um, but that's how you would check it uh, anyway I'll, I'll continue on you probably want to get this problem done uh, so I have that so now I can find my triangles here they're both the same so I can just find one and multiply it times two so to go ahead and do that uh, I'm gonna do uh, I need to find I need to find my final angle so that's gonna be um, let's see here's our, our, uh, my final side I should say so I know the sine of 40 point four nine degrees roughly over x is equal to sine of 135 over 90 cross multiply which gets me for x it gets me uh, 82.6507 but that's good enough all right so now you need to find the area of one of those triangles and I can multiply it by two um, so we need to find s first Yes, cluttered. Um, it's one half of 82.65 plus 90 plus 10. And out of that, I'm going to get uh, 91.3253622. That's good enough. All right, so my area is going to be uh, square root of 91. I'm using the full digits here, but I'm just going to round it down to 3 uh, times 91.3 minus 90. Uh, times 91.3 minus uh, 10 times 91.3 minus 82.65 so I get this and for my area what I ended up getting out was uh, 292.1 uh, oops 215 yeah. and I multiplied this by 2 because I have two of those triangles and that gave me um, 584.43 out. So I went ahead. I did. So I have these. Are, this is my area for my triangles, which is this area right in here. And this is my area for my sectors. So that's this area in here. And then my 23,000s. All this stuff in here. <laughs> so cumulatively, uh, you add all those up together. You add all three of these up together. And your final answer should be, and I know this is correct, so I've got the, well, you got the solution manual, it's an odd number, but uh, this matched up um, 31,145 feet, 0.15, but I think uh, they just went ahead and make sure here, they rounded it, 45, uh, yeah, 1,145 uh, 1, feet squared. So that's it. That's a solution. A little bit of a pain, but we got there. Phew.